Amazon's e-readers are great for far more than just books. That's because you can also send a PDF to your Kindle, granting you easy access to research papers, important paperwork, or unpublished works. Today, I'll be walking you through what I think is the superior method to send PDF files to your Kindle, which involves setting up your Kindle email address and then simply sending across your files. It's a little fiddly the first time round though, and if you only need to send files once in a blue moon, it might just be easier to connect your Kindle to your laptop via a compatible USB cable, and then just drag and drop the relevant files. However, if you need to send files more regularly or don't want to be caught short without a transfer wire, here are five easy to follow steps to help you transfer a PDF file to your Kindle. To send a PDF to Amazon Kindle devices, you're going to need to know your Kindle's email address. Head to the Amazon website and sign in first. Just note, the following steps vary from region to region on Amazon. We'll talk you through the US and UK guide, but if you're in another country, you might have to hunt around the menus a little bit. In the US, to the top right of the main Amazon screen should be an option saying account or lists. Click or hover over this, then find your devices and content. In the UK, likewise, click or hover over the account and lists option on the top right of your page. From here, select your content and devices. You'll see a toolbar with some options. You'll currently be on content, which should be followed by devices. Click on devices and in the next menu, select the option for the Kindle that you want to send your document to. You'll be brought to a device summary page that tells you your Kindle email as well as the type of device it is, and a few other things. Save your Kindle's email address somewhere you'll easily be able to find it. Now you have your Kindle's email address, you'll need to approve your personal email so that when the Kindle receives your PDF, it knows it can safely download it. To approve your email address, follow the same steps as for finding your Kindle email address, but instead of selecting devices in the top bar, click the next option, which should be preferences. Scroll down this list until you find Personal Document Settings and select this option so it expands into more options. From here, scroll down until you find Approved Personal Document Email Lists. Click Add a new approved email address and then enter your email address. Finally, look for and click the Add Address button to get yourself approved. If you have multiple email addresses you'd like to send files from, it's worth adding them all now. Head over to your email client of choice and then attach the file to an email before sending it to your Kindle email address. You're able to send multiple documents at once, so if you have loads of files you want on your Kindle, you don't need to send separate emails. It's worth pointing out that if you're sending over a PDF file, you can actually ask Amazon to automatically convert the file into a Kindle one, which lets you annotate the sections and change the font size just like the rest of your Kindle books. Simply put the word convert as the subject line and the rest will be handled for you. You should also get an email through from Amazon confirming you've added a new email address. Make sure to approve it and that will make everything much easier next time around. Head back to your inbox and look for an email confirmation from Amazon. From here, you can verify the file transfer and you can also access easy links to manage your file transfer preferences. This means you won't have to do it next time. However, we'd recommend following Amazon's best practice guidance for security purposes. And if you're going to be regularly transferring files and can't tolerate a few two-factor emails, the option is there to remove this step for future transfers. Once you've sent the file to your Kindle, you should be able to access it straight away. If it doesn't appear immediately first, make sure the email has definitely sent and that your Kindle is connected to the internet. If both of those are the case, you can sync your Kindle, which will likely help. Do this by going to the Kindle homepage, pressing settings, and then sync your Kindle. Now that process is done, it's as easy as shooting across an email with an attachment anytime you need a file on your e-reader. But what types of files are compatible with the Kindle? Well, the Kindle is compatible with Word documents, HTML, RTF, JPEG, various Kindle formats, GIF or GIF files if you refuse to accept its official pronunciation, PNG, BMP, and of course, PDF files. If you're not sure the file format of your file, right-click it on your computer and select Properties. Here you'll see the type so you can see if it's the right kind for your Kindle or not. The compatible file types I've listed above cover most formats you'll likely be using, but if you find the document you want on your Kindle isn't compatible, there are a few ways to convert it. In the program it typically opens into, like Microsoft Word or an image editing app for PNG files, select Save As and in the drop-down menu, see if any of the compatible options are available. If not, you could try a PDF converter tool. There are plenty of great paid options and a few good free ones too, so check out our list of the best free PDF editors on techradar.com for guidance. 
While you're at it, subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest tech news, reviews, and how-tos. And let us know in the comments below if you want some more Kindle how-to content. Otherwise, see you next time.